Hey, it's Anna. I have just come across a mushroom in uh, the Romaria genus. These are commonly called uh, coral mushrooms, and there are a good number of species. They can be quite uh, challenging to identify, uh, especially because some of them have special uh, staining reactions when they come into contact with uh, you know, different reagents that people use to test mushrooms. Uh, so I don't know which Romaria this is. I am going to take it home with me and spend some time on Mushroom Observer, iNaturalist, and Mushroom Expert, my three favorite resources, trying to get this narrowed down. Uh, but to give you a sense of what um, to expect when you find Romaria and how to identify it, first of all, it's very, uh, you know, distinct insofar as it takes this, uh, you know, coral shape hence its common name. There are other mushrooms that have a uh, sort of coral growth pattern. So the thing that makes Romaria very, uh, you know, determined as far as that, uh, you know, besides the, the coral, is it also uh, grows uh, from the ground. So you can see there are these big, fat, stumpy stems, and then uh, you get this uh, sort of uh, fragile and fleshy um, consistency in uh, the, the fingertips. Now, some people do eat Romaria, I do not. Uh, reason being that some of them cause gastrointestinal upset and I am really not a big fan of explosive diarrhea. Uh, that said, I find them very frequently in areas where there are good edible mushrooms. They're really wonderful to look at. I think this one in particular catches my eye uh, because it's got this sort of beautiful, uh, you know, lilac purple thing going on in the, the base. And some of that runs up into this sort of tan colored, uh, you know, uh, the main, I guess, part of the fertile body. But uh, this lilac color, I also suspect, is going to be the primary identification feature I use. Anyway, i um, really pleased to see this. It's nice and fleshy and firm. So I'm going to throw it like a softball and see what else I can find.